One of these shapes is a boba and the other is a kiki. And regardless of your linguistic backgrounds, you can probably figure out which one is which. The first time that I was exposed to this experiment, all I could think was, wow, kiki is sharp. But kiki can't be sharp. Even the word sharp isn't sharp. It's just a description of the physical world. But why? If I take a pen and then say that that pen is sharp, I am correct. I'm describing concrete reality. But if I say that this pen is amazing, well then that's no longer concrete. Amazing isn't just something that exists out in our world. It's an abstract idea. We made up amazing. See, what words do is describe our physical reality the same way that a globe describes our Earth. By the way, this was a boba and this was a kiki, but that's kind of a tangent. The word synesthesia comes from the word anesthesia to have no feeling and synthesis to come together. Your feelings coming together. Synesthesia is thought to occur when the brain has more neural pathways than average. This increased number of neural pathway leads to sensory information occasionally crossing over. When this occurs, some pretty amazing things can happen. The most common form of synesthesia is graphene, or numbers to colors. When this occurs, some pretty amazing things can happen. I have it, and two of my close friends have it. And I only have like two friends, so it's basically like the entire planet does. Or sight sound synesthesia, and you don't even need sight for it. Although he's been blind since right after birth, Stevie Wonder can see the music he plays. This is called chromatesthesia, and people who have it tend to excel at musical instruments. In the beginning of this video, I said that a word could not be sharp. However, I lied. A word can be sharp in a way. Words that we tend to associate with sharpness are all plosives. Words that have a strong P, T, and K sound think Tight, pipe, right, slight, all tend to be sharper than things like coal, wool, soil. If you say a plosive into a microphone, it tends to make the microphone spike. And plosive is also plosive. It's an autological word. It literally means itself. And in that sense, the word plosive, which has the characteristics of sharpness, is sharp. Our ability to connect the physical sensation of sharpness with the auditory sensation of kiki is ideasthesia. This is thought to be the mechanism that underlies synesthesia. And it's not just for the people who have synesthesia, this is innately human. Also chimpanzees have it, but that's another video. It also lets us understand metaphors. When someone says there's an elephant in the room, they don't mean there's a literal elephant in the room, and we all understand that. What it means is that the awkward person has arrived to the party, and it's time for us to go. And it's time for me to go. Thank you for watching. Did you know that if you say, hey Google slash hey Siri, subscribe to Curious Tangents, nothing happens. But if you scroll down and hit that subscriber button, something will happen.